Hi everyone, this is Mike. So welcome for another tutorial. So this one will uh, focus on 3D design. So this one is special for um, Valentine's Day. So it's going to be for the kid um, who wants to make some, I don't want to say necklaces, but I want to say pendant for, you know, little boyfriend, little girlfriend. So, you know, um, it's a cool thing. So for that, you know, you go online and we, we use an online tool called Tinkercad. So there is a name here and it's free and it's available online. So it's called Tinkercad.com. So you go there and when you arrive there, you, you may need to create an account. So you, 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 you click on uh, sign up. So you're going to be on, on, on the top right. I already have an account. So you're going to be on the top right around here. So you click on that. And uh, from there, you know, you'll be able to have that. So you see here, so you're gonna have that 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 home uh, panel. So you have 3D design, you got a uh, circuit, circuit blocks, lesson and different things. So we, we're gonna use that 3D design so you can create 3D models for for whatever we want actually. That's 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 pretty powerful. It's not uh, a level of um, uh, AutoCAD or other things like that, or Rhino, but for kids that's that's really nice so you can you can start with that so today I, as i want to say um, i want to make a pendant so you're going to be a little um, heart with a little ring in it so you can put it in um, in, a ne in a necklace so that's the purpose today so i show i show you pretty quick how to do it and uh, you can do that and you can even if you have a pretty printer at home you can uh 3d print it or you can uh, use someone else a uh, 3d printer to, to do it on that all right, so you click on, on that, so you click on create a new design and you arrive here. So this is the work plane, this is where the, the plane is going to be. And you can move it by holding uh, down the left click, so you can have it moving around. So you can zoom in, zoom out, have the home view, you know. And you can move that, you can hold it with uh, the left click here, and you can have it moving at the front, the rear, and, and so on and so on. Uh, and here you got uh, what we call basic shapes. You got all the different type of shapes, you know, hardware, electronics, different things. But we don't need all of that, so we, we just we just stay with the um, that basic basic shapes. So let me show you something pretty quick. You know, you can take that. You can take the cube. You hold you hold down the the left click, and you can drop it here. So you can see here we got a cube. Uh, you got the length, you got the width, the height, so you can change all of that, so you can you see what he's doing. So just to tell you an example. If you don't do that, so you can hold uh, the right cubes and you can hit the left click and you can oh, drag it like that. And by holding the, the left click, that's something you can do. I mean, let me hold all of that. You can do that. So this is what I'm looking for. You have different shapes. You can write text. You can do all type of things. You know, like, uh, octagon, pentagon, all these things, pyramid. We want the heart. So let's take that heart, put it there. So uh, hold the, the left, the, the right click, and you can change it however you want. So click on that. So you can see that uh, it's uh, 26 on 28 millimeters. It's, it's a millimeters. So it's about uh, one inch and Maybe uh, one each one eighth, one each uh, one one six, something like that. Uh, that's it. So uh, let me let me go this way. I can also have the height. Click on that one. So you have different ones. So you can you can also zoom in with the the middle uh, the middle of the the mouse. So it's like. Uh, 10 millimeters i want it at five so put it at five i don't want it to be too big in front of you <laughs> so that's the heart we have and uh, i want a, a little ring here so you can put it in the necklace so let me grab that one put it here uh, let me see the height as well so the height is like uh, 10 millimeters so you can move the height like that see, too but i want i want to put it at five like uh like the heart Okay, now uh, I want to change the color. It's not going to change nothing, but uh, just to, to be um, synchronous to that thing. And I think it's a bit too big too. Let's see. Um, it's 20 on 20. I want it at 10. So uh, let me put it at 10. 
Can you write something? I need a 10. I only need a 10. And I want the. You can also change it, change things here. I want the the thickness of the wall to be a bit bigger. Let me let's say at four. You can click on that and put it at four. That's it. And I can move it. Hold hold it with the the left the left um left click. And have it like this. So if I take it like this and I I move it, so you see we are not together. We are not. No more together. So if to do that, so I need to select the both of them, and we're gonna have that thing and called group, and we need to click on group. So now we're together. So if we, if, I, if I'm moving it around, so it's gonna be like that. Yeah. So if you if you don't want to change the size of the heart, so if it's something you can do, if you don't like the size of something, you can you can just uh, do that. But you need to do it before, or if you do it after, you know uh, everything gonna gonna change. This as well, so you can you can do that as well. So now that you have that, so you may you may want to get the file to for it to be fully printed. The um, the format for that is called an STL. This is usually what you 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 upload uh, to a three D printer, and uh, so you can you can put it on a USB drive, send it by per email, do whatever you want actually. So to do that, um, you see here I click on export. And I choose STL, and uh, you can click on save file. Uh, here, uh, he wants to to open it with Cura. Cura is one of the software that you use that is used with uh, 3D printers. I have a 3D printer, so so I go. So you can click on save file, and after that, you can retrieve the the file uh, where it is saved on on your computer. So that's it, guys. So uh, I hope you like it. So. Uh, Happy Valentine's Day and please like the video and share it with your friends who may like it. Thank you very much.